when we were starting out and struggling, so much of it was because we were chasing the trends. We were trying, we were reading Deadline, or I guess it was like, you know, Nikki Fink at the time, and it was like trying to figure out what did the industry want, what did people want, what was hot right now, and that just led to bad scripts. And it wasn't until, like, the big epiphany we had, which just seems so obvious, and so I always tell other people who are trying to write, it was like, stop, you know, stop writing to what you think people want and write what feels correct to you, what excites you. It's really, really hard. And I, I know some people maybe point to us and go like, oh, well, look, the Duffers did it pretty relatively quickly. But for us, it didn't, it didn't, it felt like a very long journey. And, it, and it's still a journey, but to get here, and it was hard. And we almost gave up so many times and you just feel beat up. One of the smartest things we did was we realized that we probably weren't gonna make a short film like that was gonna suddenly launch us into some major movie career that like we actually, we needed to learn to write and that that was gonna be the most valuable thing that we could have, which is a script that people wanted. The lesson that we learned that took a while for us to learn while we were writing is to not overthink it because we're not writers. We don't see ourselves as writers and you're trying to write this sort of, it's almost like you're thinking of like you're trying to write this great movie, this great novel, and you're trying to be so fancy about it. And that that should not be your first goal in the in the screenwriting class. The number of the first goal, and it's it's the, actually way harder than it seems, is just to write something that works, just works at all on any level, because uh, that that was our biggest struggle in there was just we're trying to be too fancy. And you look and listen, you're breaking down great movies, and I don't know if they're still teaching like a seven act structure, but. You know, I remember breaking down movie to movie and just trying to figure out this mathematical formula. But there is not really a perfect magical formula. The idea is that if you've been watching movies, like Matt's saying, if you're just obsessed with this stuff, it should be ingrained in you. Though, you know, if it seems boring, it's because there's not enough tension. The plot needs to be moving forward. Like, it should already be in your brain. And so, at a certain point, you need to just throw all that out and just try to tell a story. In a simple story. I remember the first... Time, most of our scripts were, didn't work, and the first one that kind of worked, we just did a very simple thing because we were, we were frustrated with the writing process. And we're like, okay, this guy is going to wake up in the morning, and he's going to realize that he has 12 hours to live. And it was just a little exercise for us, which is that there's automatic tension in every scene when we know this guy's going to die. And that was the first script that we wrote that was like, okay, maybe, you know, this is, this is working a little bit. It's, it's at least pr moving forward. And I, that, that's the script that led us to our, our first agent. When you get, you know, rejected or something doesn't work, um, it, it, it can, it can feel, feel very personal. I think that's the hardest thing is just getting knocked down and standing back up again and putting yourself out there over and over again. And I think that's a big difference between people who make it and who don't, is that the ones that love it so much that they can't imagine doing anything else that's why when they get knocked down they can get back up and whether it's it's people not liking you know a movie you 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 make that you spend two years of life on or it's even if it's like oh i made this short film for class and it gets knocked it doesn't matter it hurts every time right and you have to just go okay what can i learn from this and you just keep building yourself back up and you get up and you do it again and it's hard but you do it I mean, I think all you do need to know is that there's such a this need for content out there, and people people need it. When in their new app, I mean, places like Netflix or Hulu or now Apple, like every day it's like someone else is getting into this business, and they all need stuff. There are all these other avenues. You can make an independent film and get it distributed online, or you can make a television show, which people just there's more and more need for that. And they don't, they, they didn't, we didn't have a $50 million marketing budget when Stranger Things season one came out. It just kind of went out and they're like, I'm, I think people will find this. We're like, I hope so. But you don't know. Yeah. You don't know. It's scary. But still, it was like we, ha we had the story we wanted to tell. They let us tell it. And then they're like, I, we think it'll find an audience. But what's exciting about that is it gives an opportunity for new voices that maybe didn't have a chance before.